Hey there again everyone. Uh, in this video I was recently contacted by the folks at One by One to do a honest review on their solar charger, their 24 watt solar panel. Uh, so I wanted to do that um, and give you my impressions of it. Uh, first off, the you know it's, it feels like it's ballistic nylon, I'm not sure what it is, but it, it feels like a pretty good design. Uh, the solar panels um, feel pretty durable. I have read one review where it said one of the solar panels broke. Uh, that hasn't happened to me. It doesn't feel like it would be too easy, but I'm sure it can be done. Uh, if something happens and this isn't as durable as I thought, in the future expect another video, but for now it seems pretty good. Uh, I had this hooked up to my phone, and while I didn't keep my phone out there all day, uh, in about 10 minutes it charged about 10%, so it works pretty well. And like I said, this is a 24 watt solar panel. Now I do have my the small goal zero right here, and this is not a, a comparison of the two per se, but it's just to kind of give you an idea of the differences. This is a 3.5 watt solar panel where this one is 24. So uh, this one, it's not recommended that you plug your phone straight into it or your tablet, anything like that, because it doesn't give out enough voltage to do that. So what they do, what I have is this, this battery right here. You charge the battery, then you can just use this to charge your phone. This, I had it hooked up to my phone and it did pretty well. Uh, it, it, it did almost just as good as the, the wall charger itself. So. The one thing that I, I wish they would have put in here, and it's not a huge deal, you can get one on eBay for five bucks, but uh, this one has the, the little port where you can plug in the USB right here. And this one, while it does have that, it doesn't have the cord, uh, in here it has it, so you have to plug the, you know, if you're going to use an external battery, you have to plug it straight in. And it does come with the cord where you can plug your phone straight in but I need one that has the male USB to female USB. And like I said, and the, the Goal Zero has one right here, so uh, not a huge deal. Uh, you can just plug this in and charge that battery, and then you can put it in the pouch and then just let it sit there and not have to worry about it. But like I said, that's just, you can buy one of these on eBay for a couple bucks, not a huge deal. Um, but yeah, it, it worked really good on my phone. Um, like I said, I just left it out there for a couple hours. I have a solar battery charger that I tried and it doesn't like that too much and that's because they kind of like, or the one I have is, is a little bit uh, fancier I suppose than the average one, but they like a constant stream of power too. So, uh, But it works pretty well, you know, like I said, this is, uh, up, up for the price, I think that the Goal Zero and the Switch 8 here were about $50, $60 and this one right now on Amazon is about $42. Uh, so for the price, uh, really good deal for the amount of energy you're getting out of it. Now let me go to the website here real quick. Here on Amazon and on the homepage, uh, it says a few things here. High solar cell efficiency, 24 watt. Uh, the 24 watt solar efficiency solar panel generates the power, a power conversion rate about 22 to 23.5, uh, which provides enough power to charge two devices at the same time. Uh, fast charging technology, the built-in smart IC chip in each port intelligent, intelligently identifies your device and maximizes the charging speed. Um, the, the last one here, the charge, or not the last one, but this one here, the charge protection, which is a precise IC protector. This charger protects your device from overcharging, overloading, and short circuits to make charging safe and convenient. Uh, the smart control Smart Control, the built-in smart chip consistently monitors sunlight levels and automatically stop charging when light levels, uh, when like it gets really cloudy, falls below the needed level. So that's pretty neat and, and that's probably why it charges the phone so well. Uh, as far as the size, it says here that the, the length and width is six, a little bit over six inches by a little bit over 10 inches and then folded up, it's about 1.4 inches and then when it's completely folded out, it's about 31, 32 inches, 31.5 inches is what they say here. So, so it's a, a pretty convenient size, you know, putting in your car, it, you know, I don't know about the whole bug out bag thing. It's, it's pretty big. That's why I use this switch eight for my bug out bag. Not going to give you the power that this will, uh, but for the price and for the power you get, I think it's a pretty good solar charger. Now, like I said, solar panels, like I said, if something happens in the future after I use it for camping and stuff, uh, something happens, I'll definitely let you know. But for right now, I think for the price and the, the amount of energy you get, it's a pretty cool little solar charger kit. So anyway, I appreciate it, everybody, and we will talk to you later.